Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fixing Up the Commonwealth. I hope you are well today. And this is it, people. This is it. We are going to finish it up Grey Gardens today, guys. Yeah, I know it's very sad. Um, generally, with Fixing Up the Commonwealth, it takes me about 10 to 12 weeks to um, <clears throat> to do a settlement. Well, um, yeah, 10 to 12 episodes, so I guess that's 10 to 12 weeks. But, um, yeah, generally, that's what it takes. In real time, yeah, probably a couple of weeks of full-on building. So, we're finished here today. And um, then we, I guess we move on to the next one. Um, I have something very, very special coming up next, and we'll talk about that in a wee while. But let's get in the build menu and get started. So I'm just going to clean up, um, this is kind of important guys to clean up um, some of this debris because if you're going to build on this kind of stuff it can sometimes interfere with the, your items and whatnot. so I tend to clean up, I don't want to get rid too too much of it and you can't, what are you doing looking down there, I've no idea, but you, oh, I don't know what I was doing, I was checking out how far along I can build without hit, before I hit the boundary. Um, yeah, so just be careful when you're scrapping stuff because it, you don't want to scrap part of the overpass. That wouldn't be good. Um, also, in today's episode, um, Fallout crashed on me a couple of times when I was doing this. So there'll be a little bit of sneaky editing going on. So, again, as usual, I'm finding my way in, putting these down. Um, in fact, uh, the game got so bad, I actually had to redo this. I had to rebuild this whole area. So... If you see some differences when we come back, that's because I had to rebuild this whole area from scratch. Now, I would have liked to decorate up the bus, but I think the Fallout 4 gods were telling me you're pushing your luck. So, I didn't, I'm not, I haven't done any um, decoration in the bus. I'm sort of tempted to try it, but I'm scared it's just going to crash the whole game. And yeah, it's anyway. Um, so I'll leave the bus un, untouched, um, but I guess if I hadn't built as much, I could have certainly, um, certainly have decorated the bus, no problem, and uh, finished this off. Thanks so much for the support on the series, of course, uh, because this is the last episode uh, for Grey Gardens, we do need some suggestions for the next settlement. Now, having said that, I know there was a number of you before we started Grey Gardens, did give me some suggestions so I need to go back and read those suggestions before I move forward I've got a funny feeling I know where I'm going next however what I would like to do is do a special fixing up the Commonwealth as of next week and that's around a build challenge that uh, is out in the community right now and um, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to roll that out just quite yet um, but I think I'll do uh, as a special bonus fixing up the Commonwealth. I'm going to do a build challenge over a couple of weeks. Um, and then by that time, at least we should have some idea what our next settlement is. And it also gives me time to start that settlement and keep the um, keep the builds rolling on so there's no gap. So uh, keep an eye out for what happens next with fixing up the Commonwealth. Um, and I thank everybody for the suggestions. This has been a good build. It's been a lot of great, great suggestions on this build. And we've, we've tried to accommodate most of those suggestions as we've gone through. And... Um, and oh yeah, we got to organise a tour at some point, I guess. Um, yeah, so plenty to do, absolutely plenty to do. So we'll be kept busy. Um, what I'm thinking, <coughs> what I'm thinking of doing with this one is possibly doing a live stream tour like we did at County Crossing. So if you'd like to see that, leave some comments down below. And um, I'll try and publicise it this time a little bit better than we did with the last one. Um, but um, I know that that last tour on Restream was very, very popular. So I know I, um, I know I floated that with a few people with the idea of doing a live stream tour, and they were um, they were uh, very happy. The feedback was positive. So let me know down in the comments. If that's the case, maybe that's the first stream I do back from my little um, my little holiday that I've had lately. 
The voice is getting better, but we're still having some issues with it. So I don't want to push it too hard too quickly. So, okay. This is a pretty simple build today. It's influenced by um, a place in Fallout 76 called The Burrows. If you watched my County Crossing, um, County Crossing Inspirations video, maybe I should link that um, down below. Um, or now, maybe would be a good time. Um, you will have seen, I showed you part of the burrows, and um, this is certainly influenced by that. And it's and, and it's actually a good way of just filling in small parts of a settlement. And um, certainly with the next uh, build that I've just finished that I'll be bringing you, I also was influenced by the burrows to quite a large degree in some of that build. So, um, Okay, and it's this is kind of taking outdoor living to another <laughs> to a whole new level. I don't know why I'm using uh, why that overhang is there because it's not usable. But anywho, aesthetically, it's pleasing. Oh, there's the big word for today. Are you happy now, Matt, Eric, and all those people that love my big word, um, my big words? Yes, the cereal packet was very kind this morning. Um, also, thank you so much for the little bit of fun we've been having with our pop quizzes the last couple of weeks. That's been something very unexpected. Um, but anyway, now, you can see I'm using slightly bigger walls here. Um, but it doesn't matter. Because I've put those um, space, um, what are they called, 2G McFlips up top, you're not going to see the back of these walls. Gap fillers, that's uh, the word I was looking for. I knew it'd come to it. We're going to do something with the holes and those in a minute. And I think when I come back and have to rebuild this, I change the walls anyway. So um, I'll show you the idea. You might be able to use this in your own settlement. Strangely, that window is lower, but I think I need to pull that up a little bit. So you can see those gaps. I want to really go for a scrappy look here. Really nice scrappy look. So. I'm going to use these. I'm going to put these in there. The biggest drama we're using these is finding somewhere to put them. But luckily for me, there's a lot of wall that they fit on right there. So I can bring them back and use place anywhere to get them in. You And then they fit in anyway. Um, you could use the pillar. You could use the rug. You could use whatever you need to to get these to fit in. Um, but it's a good way of having... Just changing... I mean, it, it, basically what you're doing is you're putting together a custom wall. Um, that you can't get in it as an item so it's good just to have it look a little bit different for your settlement if this ever fits in there it might fit in there though yeah it's, it likes that it likes that wall much better you saw it fit in didn't you there that's it so you can fill in these gaps and they just look it just looks a little bit more ramshackled than probably it normally would these um, wall boards are available in all kinds of different mods. You know, Watch Up Rearranged has them. I think um, USO has them. Various mods have them. So there's even a, um, I forget which one it was, but the kind of um, junk wall packs. One of the junk wall collections also has these, but they're uh, they don't snap. They're actually much easier to work with. But of course, I've taken the the decision to use the difficult ones for just for you. Just especially for you, but you can see it just it just changes it up a little bit, just gives it a different look. Um, and I always experiment with this kind of stuff to, to just try and give a different look because I like doing that. It's been a I've been building in Fallout 4 for a long time, so I always like coming up with new things that I haven't done before. Cause yeah, why not? And um, yeah, it's scrapalicious, Elena, very scrapalicious. Um, if you haven't checked out Helena Lady Has channel, guys, please do. Uh, my good friend from um, Denmark, big um, contributor to the community that we have at Gaming for XP. And um, if you haven't, if you're not a member of the community in, on Discord, shame on you, people. Hop over there. There's a link down in the description. There always is. Come over and, and have a coffee and just hang out for a while and see if you like it. A um, lot, lot of like-minded Fallout people across there. And um, we have a lot of fun. We have a great lot of fun. And you can keep up with all the stuff on Gaming for XP. All the stuff on Fallout. 
borderlines, all kinds of stuff over there. Funnies, all kinds of stuff. Lots of people over there. I think we're um, we're closing in on kind of 60 community members at this point in time. So um, yeah, it's um, I'm really pleased with the way that that's all kind of happened and it's starting to grow very nicely um, and with 600 subscribers plus to this channel we should have quite a few more people on discord and um, you can even you can even here's the thing it might not be a <laughs> you might not say this is possible but you even come and talk to me if you like we have a voice chat channel so if there's something that you're struggling with or you want some advice on just hit me up on discord and i'm happy to hop in a chat um a chat channel and maybe have talk it through and see if we can figure out what the problem is. We do that a lot. And if I can't help you, there's certainly somebody in the community that maybe can, uh, or maybe has come across the, the problem you're having. So, yep, hypocrite. I know I've been pushing Discord the last couple of weeks, but I'm finding it a great vehicle to stay in touch with all you guys and um, and, and you know, interact with you on a regu regular basis. So, And while I'm sick, I've, uh, I'm keeping up my presence on um on Discord. So you can see this area is coming together quite nicely. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in here and it, so I'm just kind of free building and seeing where we go with it. But anyway, as I said, Fallout like 4 Gods didn't like it and wanted me to re-jig re it anyway so <laughs> this is all for nothing. Although I'll get pretty close to re-kind of configuring this. Let's put all these walls in. That should snap in there. It does, it did, it will. Sometimes I just have to do that and push it across. But yeah, it's it's colliding with something there. So, area like this, you can see we've been going for about 12 minutes now. And um, yeah, look at that, we're pretty much done. It's nice look, nice idea. I like it a lot and I like the kind of openness of it. We will get to a tour today, guys and um at this area i hope you enjoyed last week's area i'm i'm, I'm voicing this at the same time as i did uh, episode 11 so i haven't seen your comments just quite yet and um yeah all good just fill this in as you need to there you go like that vary this up as you see fit that doesn't want to go in there for whatever reason What's to stick to everything except? Yep, don't go in there. I won't go in there. It's not enough room. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not going to fix it. See, I'm going to I'm going to faff around with this, and I'm going to suddenly realise, yeah, that's not going to happen. And then because I'm faffing around, it's going to crash on me. It's going to say, "You knobhead, what are you doing?" I don't know what was going on. I, I managed to fix the the I thought it was the game, but I'm actually hard reset my. There it goes. We're back in a sec. Yeah, that's the that's the noise that every Fallout Four player dreads. <laughs> Told you, said you'd fix that for us. Um, yeah, I just done a hard reset on my Xbox, and it it, it was fine. But I, after I finished this build, I actually went venturing off into the into the wilderness, and um, yeah, it crashed on me and file corrupted and was doing all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you, Bethesda. But they did do an update on it, so it's only to be expected. So I'm, I've gone into uh, vanilla extensions here because I want these fences with the barbed wire on them. There you go. That'll fit, that should fit in there, and it just, I don't know, it just, it, it makes it look a little bit different. There we go. So look, there's the entranceway. And, um, yeah, there's not much more to do in here. Um, we'll probably cut to the um, the tour in a second, and, um, yeah, be done. Be gone. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll show you a little bit more before we crash for the second time. Let's put those in there, just to separate them out into, lo into little individual areas. Very, very simple thing to do. Okay, guys, let's get into the tour and we'll be back in a sec. So here we go, Burroughs Inspired Living. I've put this little doorway in here because that was, it's very 76 inspired. Probably need to do some decoration in there. 
some point but I'm kind of running out of um, options because the, um, the game's crashing on me which generally tells me the settlement's getting to its capacity here we go and this is a great little way of um, just filling up some space decoration can be whatever you want it to be there we go it's very sparse, I've got to keep the, the decoration sparse because like I said it's starting to crash the game so I've got to be conscious of it and so there you go there's probably a lot more I could do in this area but um, yeah and with that people I think we are going to call the build at Grey Gardens Hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you've enjoyed the whole um, experience of Grey Gardens and that kind of new approach. And we will be doing a tour in the near future. Thanks for joining us on the channel and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!